Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. Today we're checking out the motherboard that everybody is going on about, the MSI B350 Tomahawk. And you hear a lot of people saying that this is the best B350 motherboard, so let's check it out. I just first have to say if you're wondering where the Tech Lounge was today, um, that has been um, sort of cancelled for the time being, uh, suspended. So check out my Twitter if you want more information there. Brian made a post about it also on his forum and uh, that will let you know what's going on there. So let's start off then with the key features and the layout of the motherboard. So of course it supports all AM4 Ryzen CPUs and overclocking those CPUs. It also supports dual channel DDR4 memory up to 64 gigabytes of it at 3200 megahertz. That's in its OC mode, so 3200 megahertz. Now it has a PCIe 3.0 times 16 slot with the uh, steel reinforcement you see there. I'm not really sure what that does or if it really helps, but hey, it looks cool, so it's there anyway. Now there's no SLI support on this motherboard, but it does have Crossfire support via a PCIe 2.0 times 4 So that's not going to be the best bandwidth there, especially if maybe using two 580s or something, but you can still do it if you want to. Audio wise, it's coming with the Realtek ALC892 audio codec, which is uh, getting a little bit old now, but this is offset by the fact that it has um, pretty good quality audio capacitors So that will help clear things up a bit Now let's talk about the layout then and we'll work uh, Top to bottom and take a tour of the motherboard So up top there like usual we have the 8 pin CPU power and the CPU fan connector It's coming with 4 plus 2 phase power with a rich tech RT8894 a PWM now it has the same primary MOSFETs as the MSI X370 Gaming Titanium, which is interesting to know. As we head a bit further down, you see the uh, there are two more 4-pin fan connectors there and your 24-pin motherboard connector. There's a front panel USB 3.0 connector and four SATA 6 connectors. Uh, four is not going to be enough for some people out there. I was a little bit disappointed with that to be uh, fair with you guys But it's not going to be the end of the world for a lot of people out there And again, this is offset with the fact that it has an M.2 PCIe 3.0 times 4 connector right behind it uh, This is going to be great for your super fast M.2 NVMe uh, SSDs now it's also coming with two uh, PCIe one time slots and two PCI slots if you need them for anything. And on the bottom there we see another USB 3.0 connector, uh, two USB 2.0 connectors and then all the usual carry on on the bottom there except for an LPT port uh, which I haven't seen for a while and an RGB lighting header which you know <laughs> if you need to RGB all the things there you go. Now let's flip around to the back then and talk about the rear I.O. So it's coming with two USB 2.0 ports on the left there, three USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A ports, those are the red ones you see, a single USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type C port, uh, VGA, DVI-D and HDMI ports, which most people won't use if you're using a Ryzen uh, CPU, uh, it'll only be for the people using APUs. A combo PS2 port for, you know, your old school mouse and keyboard setups. A gigabit Ethernet port and a bunch of gold-plated audio ports, which is uh, quite nice to see on a B350. So let's talk about the BIOS then. So uh, you can update the BIOS with MSI Live Update, but it's not very good. It wasn't detecting it properly, and yeah, I just wouldn't use it. Stick to the old-fashioned way. Uh, download the newest BIOS, chuck it on your USB, head over into BIOS to mFlash, Click on that, go in, uh, get it all going, and that will update the BIOS for you with no worries at all. As far as the BIOS itself, um, using it, it was very, very easy, very easy to navigate. I really liked using it. Uh, setting up all the overclocks was very straightforward. You can just dial everything in. I got the memory up to 2933 megahertz in the uh, XMP Profile 2. Uh, 4 gigahertz on the uh, Ryzen 7 1700 with no issues and uh, one, at 1 1.4 volts. So that was all very good there. I had no issues with it. Um, it held that overclock just fine. So yeah, in terms of overclocking and what the BIOS is like to use, I really didn't have many issues at all. It was very, very good. 
Which brings us then to the conclusion and what do I make of the MSI B350 Tomahawk? So it's coming in with a price of 239 New Zealand dollars at Playtech right now. And it's actually the most expensive B350 motherboard that they carry. Now I did a bit of reading around, did a bit of research uh, to see what most, uh, well, some of the people disliked about this motherboard. And the main two things was the lack of a dual BIOS, which is understandable, and slow boot times, which uh, I have to disagree with because I thought the boot times were just fine to me, but I am coming from X99 if you want to know about slow boot times, wow. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't the end of the world. I also personally feel that four SATA ports uh, isn't enough. Um, maybe on a mini ITX then it's excusable but on this no I, I didn't really feel that it was um, yeah but but again that's just a personal thing otherwise it was a fantastic motherboard great features really solid IO uh, overclocking was easy I had good results you should too and the majority of users I think for the majority of people out there will um, absolutely love this motherboard and shouldn't have any issues with it as always you do want to up update that bias as soon as you get it uh, the only people I would say that may not like it is, is some of the enthusiasts or people wanting to run uh, two graphics cards, especially two NVIDIA graphics cards. Uh, but those people will all uh, trend towards the X370 anyways. The enthusiasts that want more features, they'll all go towards the X370. So for your average user, your average person, say buying a Ryzen uh, 5 1600 CPU, yeah, go for this uh, MSI B350 Tomahawk. I think it is a very, very good B350 motherboard, and you should really enjoy it. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already. I'll be back in the next video, hopefully, and so will Teddy. I'm going to the doctor's tomorrow, and I should be feeling a bit better after that, hopefully. Uh, so I'll be back very, very soon. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.